Hey guys, for this week's video, I'm gonna be taking you through what a day in the Tuamotus is like. Gonna bring you along on all the diving adventures that we go on. Uh, it's basically gonna just be a day in the life out here. So let's go. Everyone is just waking up. We are at the most gorgeous of anchors currently. Um, today's conditions are perfect. The ocean is so flat, so calm. I think it's gonna be a really nice dive day. Today, I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of day in the life of what it's like living on a sailboat, just being out here in the Tuamotus. Currently, we are in Fakarava South. Um, soon this morning, once everyone is up, we're gonna move the boat towards the pass get some diving in, hopefully dive the wall of sharks. Um, we should have some friends that are gonna come down tonight and join us. Uh, they're gonna be with us on the boat for the next couple days. But let's see what happens, day in the life. Good on you, Tay, for getting a workout in. The rest of us are lazy, we choose to sleep in. Well, the anchor is up. We moved to this site last night because the wind was maybe gonna throw a storm at us. Thankfully it did not, but we wanted to be somewhere where it was like a bit safer to be anchored. So now we're gonna move about an hour to the dive site, which is nice because the sun is coming up and it's starting to get super hot here already. It's only about an hour to get where we're going. So on the way, we'll make sure we'll get all the cameras ready, fill up all the dive tanks so that we're pretty much ready to get in the water once we show up. It's really nice having our own dive compressor on the boat because that means we can dive basically for free. We can fill our own tanks. We don't need to rent tanks from the shop, uh, but it's just noisy while we fill them. In the mornings, we usually try and get a bit of editing or work done before we start our day in the water, and we'll make smoothies or eggs. A short hour later, and we made it to the South Pass of Fakaraba. This town has zero shops and a super small restaurant at the dive shop, which is usually booked up. Cool. Cool. Right up. Okay, we're on like temporarily. It is 9.45, we're in Fakarava South Pass. We're about to start our first session of diving because we're all steaming hot. We're right on top of the wall of sharks. Gonna check it out, free diving, and then switch out to doing some scuba dive. Free diving is for sure my biggest passion. I do prefer it over scuba diving, but in some parts of the world, scuba diving is better. This is true for this area in particular, where the currents are incredibly strong and most of the wildlife does stay deeper. It was a shock to us all, especially Rachel, who has dove this site five years in a row to see how much coral bleaching has recently happened. Basically the entire dive, we were just staring at white corals. On the left is what it looks like this year, and on the right is a clip I got in the same area in 2023. Corals can dive very quickly and yet take years sometimes to regrow. First free dive session finished. We're gonna grab the tanks, go back out there. It's pretty sad to see though. The corals are really bleached right now compared to previous seasons. The water temperature is super warm. It was like 31 Celsius, which I think is around like 87 Fahrenheit. So we'll see how it looks on scuba. Sad to see, but it's also not helpful that cruise ships come down to this area. We reloaded the dinghy with dive tanks and more gear and started off on our first scuba dive. All right. It's 10.45, gear is loaded in the dinghy. 
We even have two dinghies this time. Uh, going out for dive session number two. The flood had just started, so the visibility had become unreal. We were super stoked. We quickly dropped down to 25 meters to start our search for the wall of sharks. The sharks use the strong currents to sit in and rest. The currents allow water to flow over their gills with little to zero effort for the sharks to breathe. Throughout the entire dive, you probably see around 300 to 400 sharks. Mostly you see gray reef sharks during this dive, but you can also see white tip and black tip reef sharks, lemon sharks, oceanic black tips, and on rare occasions, great hammerheads. We drifted through the corals again and documented a bit more of the mass bleaching that this area is going through. Dive number two completed. Uh, sad to see a sailboat on the reef just here. But the dive was good, lots of sharks, great viz. During our dive, sadly, someone ran their sailboat aground and on top of the beautiful patches of coral. So sad to see knowing how much life this person just destroyed. The currents are so strong and so much water is rushing by that they have to basically wait until the tides switch until they can finally be towed off the corals. One forty-five. we're going out for our third dive session. Look for shark teeth. We just ate a whole loaf of bread and all took five minute cat naps. <laughs> Dive session number three was a chill one. We went into the shallows to look for black tip reef shark teeth. The girls are obsessed with this activity and very good at finding them. I, on the other hand, suck and it took me forever to find my three. Six hours later and the tide switches. So now it's an outgoing tide. You get the crazy current lines. Back to refilling the tanks to dive tomorrow. And now soon we will eat and take nap number two of the day. <laughs> All right, we're about to start our fourth dive of the day but we're running out of time because it needs to be right at sunset. There's this amazing phenomenon that happens every night right at the pass where millions of bait fish start swimming as fast as they can right outside the pass, but it only lasts for about maybe five minutes. Um, so we're trying to rush, make it down there for the fourth dive of the day. And we're off, chasing the fish. Final dive and Emmett forgot to pressurize his housing with a proper pump, but if you own a Nauticam dive housing, you can suck the air out. So right here, right on the edge of the dock is where the magic should happen. But the current is still ripping.
Unfortunately, we think the fish were running deeper in the past and the current was so incredibly strong since it was outgoing that it was too dangerous to try and get into the school of fish. It was still cool to see the reef at sunset and start seeing the sharks become more alive to start their hunt, and we got to enjoy this sunset in the water which is always amazing. Well sadly there weren't that many fish in tonight's night dive, but it was still fun to just get in the water for a fourth time, enjoy the sunset from the water. It is now 6.30, we're preparing dinner, um, the friends who are supposed to join us were a little late. Uh, so we're eating with or without them, but they should hopefully still make it to the boat tonight. Um, and on the menu tonight, we are using some of the leftover dog tooth tuna that we caught just a few days ago. We're gonna make a big batch of fried rice. Thankfully, we had plenty of fish left to share with everyone since tonight's meal was feeding seven people. A simple dish of fish fried rice. It is now eight o'clock, so it's time also to do the weekly cleaning of the housing, get it ready for the dives tomorrow, throughout the week. And usually now it's try not to be sweaty and do some editing. All right, day is done. Cameras are clean and ready for tomorrow. Epic day today. We had perfect conditions, four dives, tons of sharks. And the best part is we get to do it again tomorrow. So probably heading to bed here soon and wake up and do it all again.